Well, when it stops wiggling, seriously, I am home. It has been a long, short little trip. I guess is how I want to word it. But, um, yeah, I am home from my trip. Um, the first video that goes up is going to take a long time to load. So, I got home and one of my orders is here. One of the items in here... <clears throat> I ordered for somebody else that just got a new phone and he breaks things. Um, you know, I might insert a picture here somewhere. Um, Yeah, well, anyways, so he's not only got a phone case coming, but that's coming, it won't be here till next week, and then he's got a um, belt case that the whole thing will fit into for his belt when he's going someplace. Um, yeah, anyways, he gave me the money to order those things for him, plus I went ahead and ordered myself some things that I've been trying to get. For a while now and I just haven't taken the time and had the extra cash to do it till now so I'm going to show you what I got so we're having a little unboxing and I also ordered a phone case for my new phone because I am scratching the thing up back hopefully yeah that's that's quite big his phone is the same size as my new one so, I'll know if his phone will fit because I'm going to put my phone in. This is my phone case. Um, I can't remember how much I paid for this. It was like, I think, $12. But, um... I just wanted it so it had some cushion because I have dropped it. And that scared the bejeebers out of me because we all know, and it has a butterfly loop, which I may not put on it um, because I want to be able to um, and it has little butterflies. Those are little butterfly glitter. I want to be able to um, how it's going to work. We'll see. I want to be able to put my phone in in my things. Let's see. This is supposed to fit my phone. Everything lines up there. Come right on. Let's see. Volume. Well, the little volume buttons are not working. Oh, maybe I have to turn my phone on. Dumbass. Yep, they're working. Look at that. You can see the top. That's lined up. Okay. So now I have a phone. I don't know how this is going to work. Um... If I want to put this in one of my cases. So I may not put this on it. But there, my phone is now protected in a case. Now, the thing is, the case I ordered for my friend has got to be able to fit inside of here. Let's see. Just like they said, if you got a regular smaller case, not a big fat heavy case, it would fit inside of this wallet which goes on the back. That is so cool. Okay. So my problem is fixed. Part of his problem is fixed. That makes going to make both of us happy. Let me put this back down in there. Oh, 
I'll tell you, people were upset that I ordered him this. And I, I just cannot understand why. I think it's more like the fact that I did this, not them. Um, you know, I knew what I was after. I knew what I wanted to get. I knew what his phone was. And I sat there with his phone in my hand, and a lot of cases that were supposed to fit his phone, the buttons didn't line up. And the same with my phone. A lot of the cases that said they were for my phone, the buttons didn't line up. And the holes didn't line up. So, the other thing, let's get on to the good stuff that I ordered. <coughs> <coughs> the minute I walked back into my apartment, I started having coughing fits. Not just cough, 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 I'm done. Literally coughing fits. I'm starting to wonder what's going on. I ordered the Energy Oracle cards. And we'll open these here in a little bit. And that's not all I ordered. I got a deck of the Moonology Oracle cards. So, let's go ahead and open these boxes. I'm going to pause you for a second. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the, whoops, I'm holding them upside down. The Energy Oracle cards and give you my first impressions. They're in a good, heavy, sturdy box. It has a book when you first open it. There's the book. Um, the wording is quite large, which is nice. Um, let's see. It does go through the cards. Um, anxiety, worry, depression. Um, it tells you upright and reversed both. How, what the meanings are, upright and reversed. The affirmation tells you the affirmation. I just picked a card. I, I went through and stopped on a page. I didn't pick anything in particular. Um, and I believe this is a, uh, sorry, I got a phone call. Um, this is a 53 card deck with the book. And, um, they are very large cards. Very large cards. Um, and they are Sandra and Taylor. And I'm looking to see if they say the artwork. The cover design is Trisha Breidenthal. And the co cover art is Jenna Della Grataglia. Um, they are printed in China. Um, it does um, give you a list of who all, um, all the rest of the books. The table contents is in the very front. Um, and it does tell you what page to look for for each, for each card. So we're just going to give you a quick overview of the deck. I'm not going to shuffle or anything yet. This is card number one. This is, of course, the sun. Kind of like that card. Journey. They're quite detailed. I like the artwork. I like the color. Um, this is Blossoming Abundance. Card number three. I'm going to skip through and go to another card. Card number 13 is Financial Constraints. I'm going to skip a few, show you another one. 23, all tied up. This is 36, Second Chakra, Archangel Ariel. I know the light is hitting on, I'm sorry. 
I really do like the color and the way these are set up. This is the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is card number 39. And it goes through the chakras and then we get to like the thinking man, card number 46. And then 48 is the angel of balance. I like this deck. I like the way it feels. Goddess of the moon, card number 52. So I will, I will have to take time to get to know the cards and the cards get to know me uh, before I do any reading and stuff, just like I did with my first deck. Um, and I put them in the lid of the box instead of in the bottom of the box. And if you've ever watched my unboxing of my first deck, um, you'll see how I um, talked about how you should um, get your cards to know you. Now this is the Moonology deck. Um, it's the Moonology Oracle Cards by Yasmin Bolin. And the artwork is by Nix Rowan. Rowan, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. It also comes with a small book. Um, and it also goes through different ones talks about the new moon cards in the front it talks about new moon cards the full moon cards special moon cards and interpreting, how to interpret the cards. So it really does give you um, a really good, as I was saying, I really like how this book was set up. Um, it shows all the different moon phases and talks about that. Um, I will definitely get into this book, um, what these cards are for. It talks a little bit about all this. So you really have a really good instruction book, again, with this set, which makes it nice. Um, and let me see what the cards are. Um, they are a matte finish. They're not um, shiny um, like the other cards are. They have a real bright, shiny, glossy finish. These are more of a matte finish. They have a nice feel to them, though. They're definitely a nice, thick card. And this is a... I was going to tell you how many cards were in here. I was thinking there was... Um, huh, hold on, let me find it. Okay, this deck has 44 cards. I would have been off by two if I just guessed. Um, and it goes through this four different types of cards in the deck, like I said earlier. And the back of it has the different moon phases. And it's a nice big deck again. And I like the colors of the background. I like the color of the, the whole layout of the... Um, this one is a new start is coming, and it's the new moon, and it is very, very good. I like the way that's worded. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple. This is the waxing crescent moon. Have faith in your dreams. Now, when you're reading to somebody on these type of cards... You're usually not just using these um, alone. You're usually interpreting something for someone. Or they've asked the question or there's something going on. Or you're using these with another deck. Such as, <coughs> such as, 
such as um, you can use them with the uh, the energy oracle cards. You can use them um, with the other deck that I have, or any deck that you have. You can use these together with that to help um, to help them see things that are going on. I'm gonna flip through to some more. Oh, that is pretty. That is the new moon in Cancer. Wow, that is gorgeous. You and your loved ones are safe. That is amazing. New moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. Is that really Taurus? Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. And when you're reading for somebody, you need to um, like pull this card and you need to say, what kind of dreams have you got? What kind of things have you got that you're working for? What is your goal? And you need to work with the person that you're talking to and say, well, what is your plan? And, you know, they may realize that, wait a minute, maybe my plan isn't quite as practical as I think it is. And once they set their plan a little clearer, their goals might be met. And you never know, and it doesn't have to be for a Taurus, and it doesn't have to be during a full moon. It just happens to be the card that they draw that fits their situation. This is a <coughs> full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is in forecast. And depending on what you're talking about, with who you're talking about, what each card is going to represent to each person at that time. You could read for somebody one week after another and a card is going to mean something different each week. This is waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. That is a beautiful, beautiful uh, card. Look at the colors. This is absolutely gorgeous card. I am very pleased with both of these decks. This is uh, the mutable moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. That's a very strong message. So, there is my two new decks that I will be working with. I will probably um, start working with the Moonology cards first. Um, and get them to know me and get to know them. Um, work with them. Like I said, I literally just walk around with them in my hand. I have them usually on the bed next to me for a couple of nights, two, three nights at least, and just um, walk around, play with them in my hand, shuffle. I don't usually draw a card from them immediately. I usually have them in my hand for at least a few hours before I draw a card. And then when I feel that the deck is getting to know my energy and I'm getting to know the energy of the deck, I will draw a card that will represent what that deck and I have for connection and that will <coughs> ever since I've been home that will um, help me understand the deck as to how we're going to connect and then when I'm sure that I'm connected good with this I will start uh, working with this with my other deck and then I will start um, working also with getting to know the energy um, oracle cards also. So that's what I've got and everybody thanks for watching. I'm going to get this video up. I do going to have to cut and clip because I got a phone call. I might just leave it in there. But um, everybody have a wonderful day and I've got so many videos to work on. So Everybody take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.